Hi everyone, welcome to Lisa Yoga Angel. I'm Lisa. So did you know that yoga can help you with your hair? If you are experiencing hair loss or any kind of malfunction with the growth cycle of your hair, join me for today's practice. We're gonna have a focus on forward folds, which is going to help us bring fresh blood and oxygen all the way up to the scalp crown area, as well as helping our body's digestive system circulate those healthy nutrients to nourish those hair follicles. So if you want healthy hair, grab your mat and breathe with me. All right, so we're gonna begin just standing in the middle of your mat and take the feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. Good, roll the shoulders up and back. Just standing in Tadasana, connecting to our breath. Palms open wide. Facing forward and then close your eyes. Let's just do three full breaths here. Take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Good. Two more like that. Big, deep inhale. Staying grounded through the feet, tucking the tailbone. And a big breath out. Good, one more deep inhale. Take the breath all the way up. Belly, ribs, shoulders, chest. And an easy exhale, letting go. Good. And then open your eyes if they were closed. Circle the arms on the inhale, reach them all the way up. Coming to our first forward fold, Open up the arms, bend your knees, and then swan dive, forward fold. Good, let the head hang loose here. Let the feet be grounded, all four corners of the feet. Good, and then catch your elbows and sway the torso. So all right away in this Uttanasana forward fold, we feel the blood, the oxygen, Pouring to the crown area, getting into those hair follicles. So stay grounded through the feet, but keep with your breath and just move organically here. Shake your head. Yes, I have healthy hair. And shake your head. No, I will not skip my yoga practice. So healthy for us. Good. And then come back to center. Release your hands, and then on the inhale, slide them up on your shins. Nice Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. A nice flat back here, shoulders away from your ears, and take a deep inhale. And an easy exhale as you come back into that forward fold. Crown is towards the earth, twice more like that. Inhale. Lift and lengthen, open up your heart, your collarbones. And exhale, fold. Releasing a lot of tension and stress here as well. Last one, inhale, open up, flat back. You can also be here, palms on the thighs. And exhale, fold. Good, bend your knees, walk your hands forward, and we're gonna step back into a downward facing dog. So tailbone reaches towards the sky. Just begin to pedal the feet right away. I always like to move organically in a downward facing dog. Feel it out, open up the backs of the legs. And again, we're circulating fresh blood, fresh oxygen throughout the entire body here. So staying with those deep inhalations and big exhales. Tailbone is towards the sky, chest melts towards the thighs. Good, align your ears with your upper arms. And let's do three full breaths in this Adho Mukha Svanasana. Deep breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. 
and big breath out. Big breath in. Visualize all those healthy cells in our scalp, our hair follicles, getting nourished with the breath. And a big exhale. Good. Go ahead and release your knees. We're going to come into a child's pose. So point your toes. You can open up your knees a little bit wider if that feels best for you. Bring your forehead down. Good, and let your palms be forward, elbows bent. Your arms are forward, elbows bent. And your forehead touches the earth. Good, and just let all of that go. Take a big breath in here. And a big breath out. Good, take the finger pads and place them on your scalp while we're in child's pose, Balasana. And just begin to give your scalp a little massage. So nice, slow, circular motions, really increasing the blood flow and circulation in the scalp area, which is going to encourage healthy growth, stimulate growth, so we can have healthy, strong hair. Good. Stay with your breath. Just enjoy this little massage for yourself, little self-love scalp massage. Big exhales. One more. Big inhale. And a big exhale. go of tension. Good. Release that. Reach your arms forward. Good. And then just bring yourself up into a tabletop position here. Bring the knees together and let's sit back on our heels. Good. We're going to take a little twist, which is good for the circulation here. Good. So sitting on our heels or all the way down. If this is uncomfortable for you, just come to easy Sukhasana also. Good. Reach the arms out wide. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, twisting to your left. Good. Release, taking a gentle twist. Maybe that left hand can catch your heel and that right palm's just resting on the thigh. You know, pull the lower ribs in. We kind of want to arch here naturally so be mindful of that good and then inhale keeping the spine nice and tall and exhale maybe you find a little bit more space good and then look forward come out of that again inhale circle the arms all the way up and then exhale opening up to your right Good. Okay, finding that twist. So all of our twists kind of circulate our digestive system, help the blood circulate in our digestive system. All the twists are really healthy for us to keep our organs nourished and healthy, help the body get rid of what it doesn't need, any toxins, so we can have healthy hair. Good, take one more big, deep inhale, grow nice and tall through the spine. Exhale, find a little bit more space, never forcing anything, just let it feel good here. Pull that lower belly in. Awesome, and then look forward. Good, inhale, reach both arms all the way up. Palms together, exhale, hands to your heart. Awesome, let all of that go. And we're gonna do one more pose here. This is called rabbit pose. So sitting on our heels, you're gonna bring your forehead down all the way and your hands stay back by the feet. So this is gonna be really good for the scalp, the crown area. Good, so staying light on the top of the head, you're gonna to begin to keep your hands back by your feet, or maybe your ankles or your shins. Begin to lift the hips 
until you're on the top of your head. It might not look like much, but keeping the neck long and stay light on the top of the head. Good. And this is also a really awesome lower back release. So it should feel overall really good for the back. And we're also bringing all that fresh blood, oxygen, nutrition to our scalp, our crown. Encouraging that growth. You know, I know when we have issues with our hair, hair loss or any kind of malfunction with its growth cycle can really, you know, freak us out a little bit, especially as women. So doing our yoga practice for healthy hair can definitely help. Good. Let's do one more breath here in rabbit pose. Big breath in. And then on the exhale, bring your hips down. Nice and slow. Come back into that loss in a shape. Take the arms forward. Open up your knees. Good. Let the heart melt. Take a big breath in to the back of the body. And a big breath out. Good. Reach your arms forward. Look forward. Come back into a tabletop shape. Good. Align your knees right under your hips. Tuck your toes and find one more Adho Mukho Svanasana. Good. So you might feel a little more open on your second downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Walk it out. Breathing big. Nice. And then slowly walk your feet and your hands back to center, just like we started. Bring the feet hip width apart. Good. Let the arms dangle and then round and curl it up. Arms are dangling like noodles. Head is loose. Take it all the way up one vertebra at a time. Head and neck are the last to come up. Good. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up. Exhale, just like we started. Swan dive, forward fold, back into Uttanasana. Good. Breathe. So anything that feels good for you in our final forward fold, sway it out here, breathe it out. Shake your head. Yes, I got this. Healthy hair. Long and strong. And shake your head. No, I will have no fear, no judgment, only self love. Awesome. Inhale, palms on the shins, come up to that Ardha Uttanasana, flat back. And then exhale, fold, bend your knees, plant your palms, and just come right back down, sitting on our heels. We'll bring your knees down, sitting on our heels. Good. Let's come back to our center. So take your time. If you feel a little lightheaded or maybe tingling, take your time and go slow. Good. Rest your palms on your thighs here. Sit nice and tall. Just allow yourself to connect to your breath. Maybe visualize that area of the body, the crown, the scalp, the head, feeling healthy, nourished. As we brought all that fresh oxygen towards that area, so good for us. Good. And then take the arms out wide. Inhale. Reach them all the way up. Bring your palms together, exhale, take them right to your heartbeat. Good, thumbs are touching your heartbeat. Let's do one more breath together. Big inhale. Big exhale. Good, and then open your eyes, yay.
thank you for practicing with me. So please be sure to click the subscribe button if you like this video so we can stay connected and you can be notified of all future videos. Namaste. Have a beautiful day.